Hey guys, welcome to OK Let's Play. I'm Justin. I'm Stefan. And we're playing Call of Cthulhu. Dark corners of the earth. All the darkness. All the darkness. Uh, so there's been a bit of a gap between our last recording and this one. Uh, we talked to that lady. Rebecca Lawrence. And we got, we talked to a drunk. And no, got, the drunk and, we have. Oh, and we got, he gave us the key to the poor house and we're in the poor house now. Yeah. So let's go. What are we? If I see you without fire, I'll report you to the EOD. To the EOD. Oh no, say nothing. Oh man, I love your bangs, lady. Where is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, everybody in this town is so cringy. Yeah. This gross guy. Oh Which... yeah. Oh, hey man. Who are you? You don't look too good. What's up with your face? What is it with that? I'm actually trying to look. See your eyeballs. Oh, you look weird, dude. Look weird. Like a lizard. Yeah. Talk to him. Can you talk to him? Do you need any help? What are you doing there, man? Can you go in that door? Oh no. You've got no knobs. Oh, that's so weird. Ah. Oh. The sign says Insmith gets the entrance to the town poorhouse. Close it. No closing for you? Okay. Yeah. What's that on the ground? There's just no reticule. Oh, nothing? Okay. We're selecting things. So yeah, no gotta, no aiming for you. You gotta try <laughs> a little bit without pressing the buttons a bunch. What's that? It won't open. It won't open. It won't open. It won't open. Oh, it's the thing. The thing. That's been watching us this whole time. The thing. What a good movie. Go watch The Thing right now. Isn't that the thing with the clown? No, that's it. Oh, that one's terrifying. The things, John Carpenter. And Dark oh! How did that old guy not freak out? Did he not see that? We're asking him what he saw. Nothing. He obviously saw it. He must have seen it. He must have seen it. These guys ain't telling us nothing. It's out back of the house. Everything in Innsmouth is rotten and dying. Windows boarded up, and all sorts of curious barking, crawling around black cellars and attics. How That's creepy. Like also, your neck doesn't look too healthy, like bro. Yeah. Fella. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Gross. Well, got a rash there. I don't think he's been outdoors for years. He is a guy that Ugh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I see I see a med pack. Ooh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. You don't look too good. Ooh. Med pack. Med pack. Moth. Moth. Butterfly effect. Acquire <laughs> butterfly effect. Oh, uh, yeah. Sleep is restless and erratic. Oh, those bugs are so nasty everywhere. Don't look at them. Just go. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna lose sanity. <laughs> Looking at the bugs? <laughs> Looking at They're bugs. They're gonna be bigger problems, man. No way. The old woman's dead. Look at this. this one's, just... one's gonna go up her mouth. Oh! There it goes! Ah! Sick. It won't budge. It won't budge. What are you doing? It won't budge. Look at them. See what's below us. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Heights! Oh, is your guy afraid of heights? He's afraid of heights! Oh my goodness! Yeah. What what is this guy not afraid of? Who the heck is that? Hello. Oh, oh, hello, look how gross that person is. <laughs> look at it. Good evening, Marm. Oh, <laughs> how wooed! How wooed! <laughs> well, doesn't look like I want us to go that way. Hmm. A door. A door. Ah uh, yes, I make that actually. I do that. The knuckle, the knuckle, yeah, knock. the two knuckles. Double knuckle shuffle. Hey, little lady. Are your parents oh, you can see he's not. Uh, kneels down. Yeah. Oh. What? I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Ramona. Ramona, like from Scott Pilgrim. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, what? Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love mommy like I love my daddy. That's what I always say, too. 
That's the creepiest <laughs> thing. She's clearly a monster. <laughs> we should probably investigate. I'm drawing pictures of my crayons. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, that would be great. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. He's swell. The one time his tone changes. I should check the place. Over yeah, literally. That's. The, I think that's the first time his tone has changed. Yeah. Nothing of interest. Let's, uh, the door is not interesting. <laughs> Secure here. What you drawing? Uh huh. <laughs> is that a, uh, like a squid with a wings? That's like a squid with wings, and then there's a star, and maybe a Godzilla coming out of the ocean down there in purple. Oh yeah. yeah. And a burning house. Yeah, she's having fun. It won't open. It won't open. It won't open. What about this fern? It won't open. It won't open. <laughs> it won't open. <laughs> Go figure. It won't open. We should probably investigate the attic. What's this? It's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. I can only see Tom <coughs> and Ramona Waits in the picture. What the heck is it saying? It won't budge. That's the good noise. Boom! Why do I keep seeing through, like, seeing things like that? Oh, the door's bolted shut. There'd be a reason. We know how to do bolts. Oh gosh. Uh, Are we going in here? Look at this. This seems nice. Mommy bites. Mommy's been bad. Yeah, must be fine. Oh! Oh, oh, no way! It got out? Jeepers! Oh gosh, we killed the girl. She's totally dead. Probably dead. Oh my goodness. What the? I think we're having a flashback. That did feel like a flashback. Ooh, shake again. Ooh. Oh, man. Well, I mean, the thing, though, is, like, she busts through the door without our help. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't do that. That's not our fault. Let's take a look. Looks like a diary. Yeah, that's how I'd sound, too. I would probably sound a little bit more shaken. Okay, so it's not in the diary part. General evidence. Thomas Waits. Tom Waits. <laughs> Another sleepless night. I lay awake, listening to the movements of that thing that I married, pacing around her locked room. The damn EOD, damn the oaths, <laughs> and damn the town fathers for not hanging Obed Marsh when they had the chance. No burning, no bur no burning him, him and his whole filthy clan. I wish I could just leave. Abandon my sham of a marriage, leave the store to rot, and start a new life far, far away. But I'm trapped here. Every time I look at Ramona, I know it. Watching her sleep in her beauty and innocence, my heart feels like breaking. She has no idea what she of what she will become. Ooh. Yesterday was her tenth birthday. The change cannot be far off. Whoa. Her birth gave me such joy. So much that I still use the month, day, and year as the four number combination for my safe. In that order, starting clockwise. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Thank you very much. Um, it is as though I am trying to preserve that day forever and deny the inevitable horror. I sometimes think of killing her, an act of mercy before she starts to manifest the horror. God forgive me, but she's my daughter and I could never harm her. She's blameless in all this. When the time comes, In's mouth will be the only place for her, and until then, I must stay, stay here to watch over her. It is my penance, my atonement for creating her life with her chosen mother. After she joins them, if grief does not kill me, my life will be my own once more. Not that I know how I will have the strength to go on without her. 
grief. Oh okay. man, that's dark. Four number combination. Month, day, and year. Yesterday was her 10th birthday. Month, day, year, in that order. Month, day, year. Okay. Uh, see what date is from. So it's 6th of... Today's the, yeah, so it'll be the 6th. 6th of February. Yeah. 1922. 1922. Four numbers, so it'll be 6th. 6222? 6222? I guess so. Yeah. Is it a four number combo? Four number combination. Yeah, 6222. Where's the safe? Sounds like. Sounds like we're gonna meet Tom. Tom waits. Tom waits. Tom waits for no man. <laughs> it won't budge. I like how we're making jokes right now. Yeah. Yeah, she's for sure dead. Oh, oh yeah. Grief. We call that one. Oh, God. No. Oh, she's beat up something fierce. The last thing I love away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. Oh shoot, she's missing an eye. Yeah. Talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston. That he was caught by the order of Dagon. Damn you, EOD! The EOD! The store is safe. Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with a crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combinations in my diary upstairs. Hurry, Jack. What the hell's in the safe? Anyway? We got it already. Yeah. He's not going to explain, is he? I've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. Look how big they are. He'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Unceremonious much. Holy crap. It's Ramona's coloring book. Oh, let's look at the coloring book. The drawings that fill Ramona's book are like things from a nightmare. It's hard to believe that a young child could imagine such horrors. There are pictures of strange unnatural creatures, crudely drawn, but still able to provoke visceral feelings of revulsion. One of them is captioned with the word mother. What can it mean? These profoundly disturbing images raise grave concerns about the girl's state of mind. Yep. Hey look, that door has a thing. You can flash. probably open it. It won't open. Or not. It won't open. So the it safe, won't open. I guess Waits owns a store too? Maybe? Yeah, I, I think so. I think we gotta go find that. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving her Wait, there. Wait, where, where is his store? Oh, hey, girl. Hey, Becca. Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waits been arrested for the murder of his daughter. Yeah, I no. was there. It's my fault. <laughs> what are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police drag Waits off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We've got to do something. Guilty or not, the order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, good grief. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah. I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It will help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. Thanks. Thanks for teaching me what a bandage is. Oh, look at all the blood. Good grief. Oh, yeah. Look at that head. Look at that eyeball. That's it. And that's it. What happens now? Uh... Oh, and you apply it. You just gotta select all the things and then... Nice. So you can't do that when you're in combat, obviously. Oh, snap. 
Oh god. And here we are. There we go. There we go. Hey, we're back downtown here. Maybe we can go down here because we have the key. That's probably his shop. Store. Yeah. 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 It's unlocked. Can we bolt it behind us? Nope. That's a good sign. It's a good sign. Let's close that one too. Unless, of course, we need to escape quickly. Well. <laughs> one never knows. One never knows. Ah, oh, seems like a nice place. Uh, um. Hey, man. Excuse him, what? Crooks, uh, Jesus, you crazy sack. Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. Private detective. Considering your recent breaking and entering, how about I ask the question? Have you any idea who I am? Yeah, no, you're weird. I really don't care. Nice. My family has influential contacts in the order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. I'm from out of town. The order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. Ooh, interesting. I'm Ruth. She looks a little funky, too. She looks pretty messed up, yeah. You're Brian's bride. Ruth. Figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth, the rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. <coughs> I just wanted a clean place from here. I can understand why. Yeah. I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out of the old fishing cannery the next two nights. Just past the abandoned railway station to Rowler. What was that? I think we got shoved. She just stabbed us. <laughs> Had us fooled. She's got influential contacts in the order, obviously. And she up and varnished. She varnished. Varnished. All right. What's that code? Six. Two. 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 Did you start counterclockwise? So it started clockwise, didn't it? No, counterclockwise. Counterclockwise? All right. Three weeks later. Oh, yeah. oh can't be 6222. She wasn't born in 1922. Oh, 10 oh. years, so 1912. Ah, you're so. right. Several bad puns later. Are we actually spinning it clockwise when we do it that way? Because we're moving clockwise on the number. But are try we, it, are try we it spinning the, it Just try it the other way. Yeah. 2,000 years later. Hey, -o. hey. That's it. So, a loose definition. Oh, hello. Hello. Let's save? Let's save. Take a break here? Sure. Yeah. The safe holds a heavily bound manuscript. We picked up the book. <laughs> book of Dagon. Oh. That's gotta be cool. Well, we're gonna have to see what's in the book of Dagon next time. So, yeah. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next episode of Call of Cthulhu. Bye! Goodbye. If you like this video and you want to keep in touch, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch.